Good day, my name is Jessica Hacking and I work for VUB Tech Transfer. I will give you a short introduction to VUB Tech Transfer, how we can help you and who we are. And I will give you an even shorter introduction to IP and valorization. So let's get started. You probably know that the VUB has a rector called Caroline Powells. She just got re-elected. You might also know that there is four vice rectorates at the VUB, starting on the right, one for internationalization policy, one for education and student policy, one for research policy, and last but not least, a vice rectorate for innovation and industry relations. And this is where tech transfer is located. We're the support office for researchers who want to valorize their research. The goal of VUB Tech Transfer is to create innovations that can positively impact society and creating a return in funds that can be reinvested in excellent research. So how can we help you as researchers? First of all, we can help you uh, with your projects. We can help you with funding calls, we can help you with contract management. Secondly, we can give you legal support. Setting up agreements, helping you with negotiations with partners. For you as a researcher, this might not be so easy. Thirdly, we do, the, we do a lot of internal and external communications to create awareness about the cool things that are going on at the VUB. And last but not least, we can help you with IP management and the creation of spin-offs. And we do this with a team of about 30 people. Everybody has their own expertise and experience. We're located here, the M building on the fourth floor. During the uh, corona situation, uh, we're very accessible online, so don't hesitate to contact us via email or via MSN Teams. So valorization, what is valorization? Valorization means that you have your research results that you then transform into a product service or methodology that can then be used in society or by industry. And when your product, for example, is used in society or industry, you can create economic and societal impact. Hopefully this impact will also give a return to you as a researcher and to your research group. This could be funding, this could be uh, interesting contacts. That way you can create a loop of valorization, constantly creating new research results that can then create an impact going on and on. Of course, it's a little bit more complicated than this because you also have to think about your IP or intellectual property. So when you create research results, you also create intellectual property. It's very important to log your intellectual property so you know what exactly is your results, what's your IP. Once you know what your IP is, we can think about an IP strategy. What do you want to do with your results? Maybe you want to start your own company. Maybe you want to work together uh, with organizations. There's a lot of possibilities, but it's very important to think about protecting your IP before going to external partners. Protecting your IP can take several shapes. It could be, for example, taking a patent. It could also be uh, taking out a copyright. There are several options. Let, let's think together about your IP strategy. Once your IP strategy is done, you can go out in the world and create that impact that I talked about earlier. Please know that it's very important to think about protecting your IP before publishing your research. Once your research is published, protecting is not so easy. So I've talk, talked a lot about company, society, corporation. You might have noticed that to valorize your research, you need to work together. You could be working together with other faculties, governments, civil society, companies and nonprofit, international partners. You will most surely work together with the VIP support team, such as Tech Transfer. 
Within this network, you might find possible clients, possible funding, possible partners, but it's also interesting to be up to date. You might uh, learn more on policy evolutions and societal developments. So if you want to valorize your research, if you want to do applied research, it's important to be well connected. Valorization can take several shapes. So let's take a look at it. I'll give you an example of each shape. First of all, contract education. Imagine giving an in-workshop, uh, an in-company workshop on your area of expertise. Secondly, knowledge dissemination. A lot of people think that valorization is the same as dissemination. It's not. It, dissemination is a form of valorization. So, for example, we have a lot of professors who are very well known, who go out there, they're asked uh, by press and by policy makers to explain certain things to them. This is a good way to valorize your research. Thirdly, mobility. Going abroad and doing research there with other partners or bringing foreign uh, researchers to your university and to your group is a good way to valorize your research. You're spreading your research results. Contract research. For example, a company or a government asking you and paying you to do research. Then collaborative research, the very well-known FWO, Vlajo, Innovirus projects. Please note that I'm mostly talking about applied research here and not fundamental research. Then commercialization, creating a spin-off company with your research results. At the VUB we have some very interesting spin-off companies that are very successful. Please note that it's not only for STEM and medical research, um, it can al also be for social sciences and humanities. We have some great and successful examples of spin-offs from those areas. And then lastly, entrepreneurship. And this is the mindset of constantly th of, of the loop, constantly thinking about what kind of research what I, do I want to do and what kind of impact can I create with it? What kind of partners do I need for that? So valorization can take several shapes. I'm coming to the end of my presentation and I want to emphasize that there are funding opportunities for you in Europe, Flanders and Brussels and that we can help you with that. So please take a look at our site and uh, contact us if you want to know more about it. Then I also want to em emphasize that if you have interesting research, well, if you have interesting research and research results, if you want to start a company with your research results, if companies or other parties are very interested in your research, it's a good thing, about, uh, thing to think about protecting your research. Protecting your IP and don't worry, we can help you with that, we're there for you. So that's my presentation. Please take a look at our website to uh, learn more about the things that I've mentioned. And please also note that we have a weekly newsletter that is already uh, going to your inbox with the latest news and the latest opportunities. Thank you very much for your attention.